And walking out to the cage now, we've got Alistair Volders. Another man making his MMA debut. He's a BJJ blue belt. He's an absolute favorite here at Nets at $1.45. And as you can see, he does have the shin guards on, which means this will be C-Class. Oh, what an amazing pop from the crowd here for Ryan Levy. He's coming out in a chitty bang. Mind your manners, Benny. Do you know this song, mate? Mate, I might have heard of it. I might have bopped a few little beats in the nightclub in my day to this one. 17 years old, making his MMA debut tonight. And I tell you what, he's got a lot of support in the crowd. He's sold a lot of tickets. And he's coming down from Tribal MMA up there on the Sunshine Coach. Paul Birch, Connor Birch in his corner. This is a great so matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, at fight number five this evening is an amateur catchweight bout under C-class rules, meaning no strikes to the head of a grounded opponent. And of course, it will be contested over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 67.05 kilos and trains out of Sassam MMA. Tonight, he makes his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alistair Volders. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 67.75 kilos and trains out of tribal MMA. Tonight he is also making his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ryan Levy. And listen to that crowd. And when the Wait, action begins, your debut fight and the Cassidy. crowd love it. Right, right. Well, I have not seen two happier boys tonight, Wombat. Oh, mate, I can't keep the smile off my face. We've got absolute action here. Round number one, XFC 37. Nice head kick. Look, the strikes going nuts here. Nice leg kick lands there. And it's great to see the C-Class guys still throwing their leg kicks. Oh, mate, are they throwing oh. them? They're throwing them from every which angle, Wombat. Big frame on uh, Ryan Levy there. Yeah, Levy bouncing in and out nicely. He's moving very well on his feet. I like how Levy's using that range. Stemming really well off that jab. Moving around the cage nicely. And, and these are the boys that we're really going to watch, you know. Sort of five, seven years' time, they're going to be at the top of the tree in Australian MMA, yeah. so we get to have a nice early look at them. How tough is Volders not taking a step backwards in his amateur debut? Nice good to, touch and gloves Good there. to see the boys having fun. One minute into their MMA careers, and I'll tell you what, uh, the future's looking promising for both these fighters. Very smooth on their feet, which is always something uh, that I guess is a promising sign from a debutant. And I'll tell you what, you know, Ryan Levy's training down there. You know, you got to strike. Oh, big, big body kick lands there. Yeah, I love the way that Ryan Levy's moving on his feet now. But Volder just stalking him down. I love it. Yeah, the pressure's intense. Then Two you know, very different styles. You know, if you're going backwards for most of the fight, your cardio's really going to get tested. So it's gonna, that's going to pay dividends in the later rounds, I feel. Yeah, great point, Wombat. Moving backwards while striking. It may look pretty sometimes, but it is very taxing on the gas tank. Just go for a run. You can run a kilometre forward quite easy. You try to run a kilometre backwards and you'll find that it's yeah, got a lot more difficult. I disagree. I could not run a kilometre <laughs> easy. <laughs> Forwards or backwards. Working against the cage for the first time. This is good to see. They've struck a little bit. Yeah, now look, they're going to feel each other in their grappling. Volder's very strong in this position here. He's using a lot of energy though. Nice knee in the clinch. Beautiful knee landed there. And they really should be throwing these. There's a lot of space there. A lot of space, and there it is. Yeah, Levy there looking to grab that leg. He's got to wrap those hands together if he wants it. He can transition from here. Oh, big, big strong knee. knee there. You could hear that in the commentary booth. He's dropped down. He's got a high. He's got to try single. and trip that other leg now. They can either walk the pipe or he can just pick that ankle out as well. 
Oh, Spoken high crotch. Yeah. Oh, big touch dumps him down. Levy oh, straight back to his feet. I love it. It was like he was on a trampoline there. That's what he had to do. Scramble, scramble, scramble. And that's the end of the first round. What a great first round. What a physical round for both boys. As we look to move into round number two, seconds down. Excited to see what round two's got in store. That opening round was very entertaining one to watch. A lot of action, not much feeling out. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why the matchmaking's so great. Brian Ebersole's taken on this matchmaking for the first time. He's just come over to me. He missed that first round. He asked me how the round goes. He's interested. He wants to know. And this is why XFC really do put on the great amateur fights in the country. There's few more in this country that know more than Brian Ebersole, that's for sure. Brian opening up with his strikes here. Really letting him fly. I'd like in to see Alistair go good. back to that forward pressure. And you know what, Ryan with his strikes, he's backing him up a little bit. So I think he really does need to come out with those combinations. As Alistair Volders just marches forward. Landing some big shots of his own. Yeah, it's great to see, isn't he? He's, he's just walking forward, he don't care. What a great battle. Yeah, good head, head clinch there as well. You can see Vold, uh, you can see Volders sucking in some uh, big breaths there, but he keeps going forward. Which is interesting because we actually made mention that going backwards is going to test his cardio, but it's looking like he's the one. Oh, it's great takedown. But it's actually looking like he's the one slowing down. Yeah, great scrambling there from Alistair Volders. Get back to his feet, not allowing Ryan Levy to really establish himself on top. Beautiful leg kick. He's caught that yeah, nicely. He's going to look the sweep. Takes him down. Yeah, very tidy, very tidy there as he transitions. Might have been a sneaky headshot on the ground there, but yeah. the refs let it go. <laughs> He's got to remember, C-Class can only strike to the body on the ground. Oh, and only just let him up there. He's timed that kick nicely. Boulders trademark moving forward. Ooh. Nice shot there. Good Looks shot like there. He's got, He's got to pull it together, though. He stuffed that nicely, though, boys. I'm liking the look of Ryan's cardio here, lads. He's looking like he might out, you know, put a bit of pressure on and outwork him in this round. Alistair's got to be careful here. He's coming on strong. Crowd's getting behind him. Levy now, but his hands are low. Still walking forward. I love this kid. Look at him go. One thing that Ryan Levy is doing really well at the moment too is using his angles well. You'll notice when he's moving backwards, only about two steps back and then circling off the cage to not allow himself to get pushed up against the fence and controlled. Yeah, and he's not shelling up on the cage. He's throwing strikes to get his angle to get out of there. Yeah, I'm guessing the judges don't really want this one to go the distance either. No, because I don't have a clue who's winning this fight. But luckily, we don't care. We can commentate this, mate. Folders, he's strong. Another fantastic round. Now, and Dan, a smile on Levy's face. Dan, your, your combat lab's Muay Thai coach, the striking coach. Mate, that was basically a striking affair. Tell me at what sort of level these boys are at, you know? For, for debutant fighters, I know we've been banging on about it all night, Wombat, but it is pretty impressive. I'm not quite sure how long they've been training, but to see the angles and the shot selection of Ryan Levy and the forward pressure of Alistair Volders, pretty impressive stuff from two fighters that have never set foot in a cage, uh, in, a, in a fighting environment like this before. And Benny, mate, you've been around for donkey's years. I mean, we, we keep talking about it, but MMA on debut 2018, what was it like, you know, say five years ago? Mate, five years ago, you'd get a fighter, uh, you'd have them out the back, they were shaking, they were nervous, they would come out, they'd blow their load completely. <laughs> they, they, they wouldn't listen to a thing you had to say in the corner. <laughs> they'd get back, they'd cry because they're so full of emotion. They don't know if they won, they don't know if they lost. It was a completely different game to what we're looking at tonight. These boys are pre precise in what they do. They're picking their shots. 
They're picking their angles. It's very impressive. And you were going to say the word professional, even though they're amateurs, but I agree, mate. These guys carry themselves like professionals. Round number three, it's anyone's game. A great body Ooh. work. Yeah, some nice little shots landed there by Ooh. Levy. The boys are swinging him here in round three. I bet it's both corners saying it was a close, it's a close fight so far. Not sure who's <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the corners must have agreed with us. It's anybody's fight right now. Some good angles there by Levy. And you know what? The pace hasn't slowed that much, you know? It's still a very, very high-paced fight. We've only got two minutes to go. The boys really want to leave it all on the card. You know, they want to leave it all in the cage. Alistair's still walking forward. Yeah, Levy's on the back foot, but he was picking some nice little shots through. Moving well. Fighting a guy like Volders, you have to move backwards. He's not going to take a step backwards. Nice scoring combination there. Looks a bit like uh, Alistair Volders got a second win here in the third and final round. He looks like his pace slowed a little bit there throughout the middle portion of round two. But uh, in the early stages here, we're halfway now in round three. And as we can see, boys, moving forward like a cyborg again. Yeah, that's just true uh, determination and heart. Halfway through round three is still anyone's fight. Guys, oh, both boys look to go high. Another nice knee in the clinch there. Anytime there's been any space there in the clinch, they've been throwing knees. It's great to see. Levy now with a little bit of cage pressure. What can he do? This would be a nice little takedown if he could get it. Yeah, Alistair's done a fantastic job there. He's grabbed the underhook, he's turned him around. He's trying to dictate the play now. Push him up against that fence. Only yeah. 45 seconds to go. Boulder's there, he had an underhook, but he just wanted to swing punches. Oh, I'm glad I'm commentating and not scoring this one, Lance. <laughs> Look at Boulder's come home. Alistair Boulders is a man possessed here in the third and final round. What you could a be fight. fooled by thinking this is a title fight, boys. This is unbelievable for a This could be the main fight. event. Look at these lads go at it. Deep underhook here. Yeah, he may go high on this one. Trying to grab that single. I tell you what, if he can... There's only 10 seconds to go. If someone can complete a takedown here, he might steal the round. Clappers go. Boulders now looking to just try and stay on his feet as Levy's doing everything he can to try and get that takedown. And there it is, <laughs> and the boys have got wow. absolutely nothing oh, left in the that. tank. Both boys exhausted. And they deserve to lie down for a little bit. That was an amazing <laughs> fight. That's got the crowd going. The what crowd's smiling into the place Phenomenal. now. Mate, that makes me smile. I have been smiling ear to ear since opening bell of that fight. What a fight. What a So ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest 29-28 to the red corner. Judge two scores the contest 29-28 to the blue corner. And judge three scores the contest 29-28 for your winner by split decision in the red corner, Ryan Levy. <laughs>